everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Star Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning September 21st, 2020. Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. If you would like to check out my courses at Gumroad, it's gumroad.com slash angelsouls. And thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. All of that information in every video is listed down below. All right, so let's go right into the auto write. The very first phrase is coming into peace. Does this mean that everything is going to suddenly be all better? It's all good? No, it's going to be going on for years. We keep telling you that. <laughs> right? So we have to learn to cope and you need to find your peace. And it's not about other people finding that peace for you or for waiting for things to get better before you can be at peace. This is part of your training ground. This is where you're learning how to come into your heart, how to listen to your heart and how to function in the world as it is becoming. All right. So, and then they say, let them know, uh, do not let them know, do not come upon your impressions. Here, let me put this over here. Maybe it's easier to read. <laughs> there we go. Um, do not come upon your impressions to let yourself be dictated by such things. Okay. Like I can hardly ever read my own handwriting. So I think that what this is saying is, you know, don't give into those impressions and live and function from the space that you've always been taught that you must, all right? This is really a time of healing and re reinventing yourself. Now, if you're constantly making choices in your life strictly because you have something to prove, strictly because you just wanna show that you can, this is gonna backfire on you. You're gonna see, it will backfire. All right, for, okay, so let me read that again. Let them know, do not come upon your impressions to let yourself be uh, dictated by such things, for this limits your ability to receive. So if you've been taught, oh, well, it's just automatic, I'm going to get sick, you're going to get sick. If you're taught that you can't have things because people in power who do have things say, you're beneath me and you're not worthy of this, if you give in to that, then that's just going to play out for you, okay? So don't give in to it, basically. Do not, oh, excuse me, do you not see all that you are? Indeed, you do not, <laughs> right? So this is, again, a message telling us to remember who we are, to tap into that. And this isn't an egotistical thing. This isn't like, that's right, I know I'm all mighty power if I'm gonna have power over other people, but rather when things are occurring, realizing I don't have to give into that. I don't have to be drawn in, especially when someone's trying to get you. When someone's trying to get you upset, they want you to react to them or what have you. You don't have to give in. This is interesting. So it says the fires burning will clear. I don't know what that means. The, the, the fires burning will clear. The fires are in each of you. And these are, or, and these in your energy project beyond you. Oh, so we have the capability to make fires clear and there's a fire within us. And the more fired up we get, the more it projects out into the world. But we have the capability of healing that and turning that around. All that you see outside of you is happening within you. So when we see turmoil, we see chaos, we see illness, we're not realizing that, you know, whenever we say be in that space of gratitude, connect into the heart, uh, you know, all, all be at peace, you know, all of that, we will then see peace outside of us. What's happening within us is getting thrown out for us to see. All right, so we have a choice to make here. What do we want to do about that? All right, no one can change for you. <laughs> Accountability. This is one of the things that a lot of us humans just refuse to do. We refuse to take accountability for what's happening in our lives, for what's happening in the world. It's always someone else. It's someone on the other side. Someone else is always to blame. So this is where we're, you know, trying to pick up and away from that. Uh, this is up to you. You must make your choices for you always have meaning where we are now is because we made those choices whether that's a choice to give into a narrative and believe it and start playing along with it or make the choice to refuse to grow to you know sticking with you know this is how i have to define myself i have to define myself by earthly successes or i'm nothing and what's more i'm judging you now because you're not living according to my standards this is a big thing that we've been doing to one another and it, it really is time to stop <laughs> it's time to stop uh i don't know what this means please for you to know that love is ever waiting and you needn't fear it 
And this goes beyond romantic love. This isn't what we're talking about here. We're talking about the love of the divine. People who deny the light think they are not worthy of the light. And so they fight against it. They try to scare people away from it. So, cause you know, misery loves, loves company. So they want to bring people over to their side of things. It's a whole thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, touch upon your own souls and there is the truth. So whatever action we take to try to reconnect, genuinely reconnect, not just go through the motions, but genuinely reconnect, there will be a truth there. And they're even telling me now that people will tune into that truth. They'll see it. And then they go, nope, I'm not going to give into that. Nope, because I wouldn't be accepted in this world or whatever. I wouldn't have the money that I need or so on and so on. So it is all right. You are safe to see now, to know this bit of truth. Welcome it with all love, Gabriel. So Gabriel is all about the throat chakra and I associate Gabriel with the sacral chakra as well, the emotional body. So when we are not looking at the bruised and cut emotional body, we just keep avoiding it. It's just going to get worse. Okay. And I think that's a lot of what we see reflected out into the world. It's just a lot of pain and trauma and not caring, just not caring because somehow life has betrayed you. And so why give in to the energy of making it good? You know, that sort of thing. So what this is saying is when you reconnect back into the anchor, <laughs> right? That is within you. Now you have the power of rejuvenation. And that doesn't lead to power or power struggles. This is more about, um, again, regaining that truth and, and living through that truth. That's what I want to say. Interpreting and living with that knowledge and that understanding. Okay. So bring, let that be your touchstone. Connect into the soul. Let that come on out and let that help you make your decisions. Okay. Let's get onto the cards. Let's get some cards for this week. If you like what you are seeing, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Liking and sharing helps out a lot too. And I thank you for that. All right. Yeah, don't worry so much about what's to come and trying to over plan that. There are readers out there that are giving that because their esoteric art that they engage in it's a tool for that. And as long as they're coming from their integrity, nothing wrong with being like, hey, heads up, it could work out like this. But just with angels, they will give you warnings. Like they'll say, hey, Paris, watch out. Or, you know, just they're, they're focused more on us as individuals and how our energy plays out into the world. Because as we've been saying, when we're focused outside of us constantly and waiting for whatever happens to dictate you know, how we feel and whether we're happy or not, we're missing the point. <laughs> so it's not bad to know those things. It's just what we, when we receive it, what we do with it, right? We think that it works outward in and it doesn't. You are part of what's happening. Okay. And it, and it cracks me up when people are like, oh my gosh, how could people act out in such a manner? They're so angry. Every single person on this earth has anger. And that anger goes into a collective and then it is seen. So we all are accountable for what happens in our world. We are the ones feeding it, creating it, molding it, sculpting it. And if you can't understand that, if you're not working on your own piece, Again, we all have bad days. We have things that we get passionate about and, and all of that. It's always about the intention. So here you go. Let's talk about intention for a moment. You could have somebody out there who really is self-righteous and they're like, I think everyone should live like this, this, and this because I'm perfect. But their intention is to be infamous. They want to leave a legacy. They want to, that's their real intention to be known as the person who changed the world. That person might be really revered and respected, even though they have kind of a, this not so nice intention. They just want to be more important than anybody. Whereas the person over here who's going, this is crazy. We have to stand up for people who are being harmed. We have to get in there and blah, 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 blah. And people are going, oh my God, you're so negative. You're just stirring the pot. But their intention 
they're coming from a place of love because they really do want everyone to feel worthy. Do you see how we need to start opening our eyes to what's going on? Okay. <laughs> All right. Our cards, what are the cards? What are the cards? Let's see. One more. Oh, you can't say, was that out of frame? I was like <laughs> trying to get the card to turn over. Appetite, get out of your comfort zone. We need to break these patterns that we have. We have these ideas of how things should go and it just does not, mm, it's not gonna work guys, okay? We need to break out of our comfort zone. We have to stop trying to hide behind what we think we know. We need to be more open-minded and we need to open our hearts, okay? I can feel my little teacup earrings shifting around. I'm in love with these things. I have like this new teapot, teacup, weird thing that started happening. I don't know. I just love it. And so this is what we're doing. Okay. Then we have Labradorite, see the magic. So we're getting focused on the wrong things here, guys. We're not listening to our intuition. We're just falling down because we're told, you know, imagine a kid that gets told a scary story and then they're jumpy and scared of everything and they have nightmares. That's essentially what is what happens to us as a humanity through all of history. We get told that someone's in power and we believe it. We get told that we're not worthy and we believe it. We to we're told that we have to be lower than everybody else, you know, and we believe it and we start behaving that way. Time to turn this around. Time to step on out of what you think you know. Listen to your intuition. And what did this card say? Yeah, and see the magic. Yeah. See what you are capable of. Yes, and here we go. More creative energy here. This fiery creative energy. It's carnelian. Feed your creativity. <laughs> right? So what this does is it helps you focus your energy. It can be very healing for the emotional body. And it does help kind of get you in touch with your inspiration, your heart wisdom, all of those things, which in turn can help you manifest. So you're learning. We're all learning that we can change. We can change things that we don't like. Then we have Tiger's Eye, which is all about protection. It says overcome your fears. It's time to step outside the box, guys. Let go of what you think you believe in, okay? Man, I, and, and the thing that I think is so interesting is when, especially on Facebook, people will get out there and be like, you're all so blah, 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 blah. You're just, you're just blah, blah, blah. Okay, now you might, because people love to twist things, love to twist things, and come back to me and say, well, Michelle, in this video, you're basically doing the same thing. No, I'm not. 100% no I'm not it's all about intention one person is coming from a need to be right and I'm coming from a place of just trying to warn y'all <laughs> okay like I'm trying to just let you know here's what I'm picking up on if you trust what I'm picking up on you better listen okay I need to listen too you kidding me I'm in on this too so we we need to get to that place where we overcome our fears and it's not going to be from an intellectual logistical standpoint it's going to be um, in the more expanded being. And that's how we're going to be able to move through this. Okay. I'm telling you. All right. So let's get a color card. Oh, it's out of frame. Let's do this. I'm like a low shuffler. Like if I'm sitting in a chair, I just, I have my arms like down. I don't know why I do that. Just relax my arms usually. Right about there, I think is good. Amber, awaken your creativity. The number is 15. Where's that other card? So this is very, oh guys, this is all about the sacral chakra. This is all about healing that sacral chakra. All right, heal your emotional body, engage in some creative projects here, get your creativity flowing, let it heal you, heal you, heal you. Let that happen and get back into your creative life force. All right, this will help turn things around. Remember what we feel inside of us is being projected outward and it's adding to the collective. So if we want things to change, we need to change. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.